Hello. Hi, are you JK? Yeah. I have a delivery for you. Yeah, thank you. Okay, you are. Thank you very much. Thank you, bye. Bye. New guitar day. So that thing back there is my new Solar S 1.7 LB. It finally arrived. It's time to unbox it now. Come on, join me. Alright, let's begin. So this is actually the box that comes inside of the Solar box. So it's double boxed, which is good, meaning that the outer box can mitigate any damage if the transport is kind of rough that's good uh, the drawing here obviously was a joke so let's just remove the top and see what's in okay this looks awesome already so there's this thing here I think that's on the pot oh no it's on the switch Cool, cool, cool. Alrighty, so before we take the guitar out, let's check what's in there. We got some silica gel. Uh, what's this? Okay. So, if it's the same as on the first solar I got, it should be the tuning key instructions for the Evertune and the warranty booklet. Yes, so this is your best friend when you have an Everton bridge. It's the key that you use for everything. Hang on. The solar warranty booklet. The picture of the Master himself, Mr. Ola. Look at him. Yeah, it's the warranty terms. I'm gonna skip that. And this is, I think, the most important thing that you need for an Evertune guitar, which is the user manual, which shows you how to tune the guitar, how to use the key, and everything else. It took me 45 minutes of sweat on the first one when I changed the strings as soon as I got it, but afterwards, like now, changing strings tuning it, intonation, everything. It's so much simpler than anything else, so... Yeah, but keep this. This is a great thing. Business card from Blacksmith Strings, which are the ones all solar guitars ship with. Let's remove the protective part from the, from the switch. And now... Let's see... Whoopsie... Oh boy, it just... Feels so nice and looks so good. Let's take the first part off. Okay, need that. Oh boy, turtle looks so nice. Kind of kind of take the whole thing off. Trying to keep this in frame, but it's really hard because of my setup. Okay. Oh boy. This thing just looks so nice. Just maybe adjust the lighting, lighting a bit. Hang on. It's a bit better. Oh boy. The finish is so nice. Honestly. This is uh, not my first 7-string, I had the Jackson one, and this one seems much smaller than the Jackson one, which is really great, because it doesn't feel like you're getting a weird guitar, if, especially if it's the first time you're switching from a 6-string to anything else. It looks like a normal guitar, it just has a bit of a wider fretboard. Uh, the finish is just beautiful, I can't stop looking at it. It's so nice. Okay, so the pots 
that they're metal and they're matte. Let's take it out, okay. And oh boy, this this is this is why it's so beautiful. When I looked at the pictures and I just saw the front, it was nah. But then when I saw the back, the way it combines with the front, it just looks so amazing. It's a flawless finish. On the neck joint, beautiful. It just feels so good to hold it. <laughs> Wow. Okay, so it's equipped with the Solar Duncans, as, as most of the guitars you would order on Solar. I think the newer, there are a few artist series, they have uh, Fishman Fluence pickups on them. But this is the standard, I really want to hear how it sounds. I know that it took me a bit uh, to get used to the Duncan Solars on my 6 string Solar, uh, because I'm used to active pickups, or high output pickups, and it was weird, but after, I would say, 2 or 3 weeks, it just sound way better than EMGs, which I was used to, or or the or, or other active pickups I have. I didn't try Fishman's, I didn't try uh, Bare Knuckle. But since this is an unboxing video, let's continue with the unboxing part. So the guitar is unboxed, obviously. Uh, I would say that this is very good packaging for a guitar. Uh, it's on all the corners where you would think there might be an issue in transport if somebody drops the box. This is a pretty good protection, so the neck is seated on the styrofoam part. Uh, this part here has a good uh, good dampener here as well as here it keeps it in place especially when it's packed in this thing. I'm really happy with how it's shipped. This part here to protect the the guitar uh, the guitar strip on, on this end. This one obviously since it's up it doesn't need one. As you can see on the, oh wait, you can't see on the, there we go, on the headstock as well, it's protecting the the edge, which is great. Uh, obviously, they could have put maybe one protector more here, but since it can't move because of these two, I understand why they skipped this, so that's that's fine. I really like this detail. I don't know if it comes like, like all, all the other guitars that I bought, they didn't have this. This is a nice thing to have, like a nice detail, not just to make sure that this is not damaged. Uh, oh, this feels really nice. Okay, cool. Oh, I can't wait to try it out. Um, these strings might be coated as well. They don't feel as rough. Okay, no, oh, that's something that I will have to check. Yeah, I, I mean, <laughs> the guitar looks amazing. Um, I'm really happy with how it looks. It's just. Oof. It's really awesome. Again, for packaging and shipping purposes, this is pretty good. You also have the extra protective part on the headstock, which again, like it's it's small things, necessary things, but it's small things, and a lot of guitar companies don't do that. So I really like this. Um, let's turn it around one more time. Yeah, it looks everything looks flawless so far. There's like scratching, but that's on the on the peelable part, so we can remove that later. Yeah, it just it just looks so beautiful. Everything looks really, really nice. I don't see any flaws with it. Yeah, the fretboard upper part is perfect. Yep, no sharp frets. Excellent. Wow. Okay, uh, yeah, I'll be happy to uh, I'll be happy to plug this baby in and, and take it for a spin. Well, I actually ordered an eight-string set for Elixir. Those are the strings that are gonna go on the Nanoweb uh, coded ones. Yeah, but I, I really wanna hear how it sounds. Uh, okay, yeah, perfect. I pre-ordered this guitar back in August uh, for my birthday, and it's kind of awesome to have it arrive on the same day when Solar Guitars is celebrating their three-year anniversary. Selling two of my guitars that I owned for years, uh, the PC Rich ASM Pro uh, and the Ibanez Geo, which I modded with custom pickups and custom uh, machines. I'll link the video somewhere so you can check out both of those guitars while I'm playing them. Um, I actually sold them off uh, 
after I had my first solar. I think it's a testimony of how impressed I am with the hardware and the playability of the guitars. Uh, I think it's the sweet spot price-wise, uh, but again, like everybody has to try a guitar before they buy it, so I'm not trying to sell you on solar guitars, I'm just really happy with them. They're the best bang for the buck. I mean, getting an Evertune in guitar, for me, the solar guitar was the first one that I tried with Evertune is, is something amazing and like I when I look at new guitars it's hard to imagine buying anything that doesn't have an Evertune unless I specifically want the Floyd Rose but I still have one guitar with a Floyd Rose so that's enough of Floyd Rose. Now let's have some b-roll of the sexy beast before we end the video. Hey everybody, thanks for watching. If you would like me to do a review of the Solar S1.7LB, please let me know in the comments section. You can find all the links to this guitar and all my other links in the description box, so be sure to check that out. If you liked the video, leave a like, leave a comment, and also if you haven't subscribed, now would be the perfect time to do so to keep up with my future videos. This has been my first unboxing video, so I hope you enjoyed it once again. Thanks for tuning in and take care, I'll see you next time.